so you, you, it's your boy here, doublet, doublet. Now look, man. Um, someone reminded me, and I'm, 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 I'm doing it right now, man. The Algeria Ivory Coast game. Algeria Ivory Coast game because that's the game that I saw because I, I, I couldn't manage to see the Tunisia Madagascar game. Algeria, um, Algeria should have won that game. Clear and fair. For me, I always had issues with the Ivory Coast going all the way through. Too defensive, too conservative, and you don't deserve to go far because, again, like the manager said, oh, you know, our philosophy is try to not, not, not to concede. Didn't really use Zaha. Who the hell is what? What's Kaja, dude from Aston Villa, as your main striker? Really? So, but Algeria was the better team. And the fact that they were, and, and they were, and it could have been a very painful exit by the way they missed that penalty. But when I just saw how you saw Al Algeria play, <laughs> They were the better team. But we know how football works. The better team doesn't always go through. Doesn't always go, go through. But, you know, sometimes when, when you, to win a trophy, you've got to go through one of those those games. Those hats wrenching games. And this was the hat wrenching game for Algeria because they had to hold their nerve. Because I think once it got into extra time, I don't think Ivory Coast were, were going to yield. Yeah, like a few skirmishes here and there. Ivory Coast coming close to scoring. But it seemed... Destined that this had to be settled on penalties, which, bro, penalties, it's 50 50. Not always the better team wins the thing on, on penalties. And for Algeria, they pulled through. They managed to pull through. Huge save by their keeper. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a captain after Maris and, you, and your boy uh, went off. Huge save by, by that keeper. And I just, because when you just saw the emotions of the Algerians, Especially the manager, because then the manager, he actually, the manager just fully sat down and, and was like this, just, just watching. We just saw the emotion, you could just see how much this means to Algeria, because they've not won this since 1990. They've not won this since 90, flipping 90, what, 20, 30, 30 years, years ago. So, and they can smell it. So I just feel that them coming through that game, there is a really big renewed sense of relief. And I think, I remember, I think in the game previously, Benzema basically sort of like, um, Insta live the whole thing because it was as well known Benzema is obviously all Algeria and French. Imagine if Algeria actually had Benzema still. So I just thought, you know, this could have been a case of where Ivory Coast went through by being the worst team. I think for Ivory Coast, bro, I think even an Ivorian says, man, look, our team is just dry. Our team is just dry. I just, what, what, there's, just, there, there's just no life within, 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 within the team. But for Algeria, man, well done. Congrats. Much they deserved. And I think. Them going through, you have to go through those games. You have to go through those games. You cannot win a trophy just destroying everyone and just being amazing. You, they had to go through that complicated emotional game where they went through all the flipping emotions, like that strike on the bench. Like I was beating much crying. So yeah, man. Um, well done to Algeria. Can they win it? They have been the best team. Can they fully close that deal?